Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're going to be starting a brand new TV show that is Lost. It is a show I've always been intrigued by, a show I've seen very mixed reception and responses from over the years. You know, it came out in 2004, finished 2010, six seasons and I started it today. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, let me know your thoughts about Lost down below if obviously without spoiling and um, obviously spoilers ahead in the video if you haven't checked it out for yourself. It's on Disney Plus. And enjoy. So lost. What I don't, what I first want to say is I don't understand why shows do this. It's about a plane crash disaster. I don't know why the episode doesn't start with the plane crash and then go into what happened. Instead, we wake up. Um, the names will come to me as I obviously learn the series. I think his name's Jack. The man who we are first introduced to a very cool character. I like how he was through this episode. You know, he immediately ran to, you know, to the beach. He came across the plane crash. He was helping people left, right, and center, pregnant woman, this larger man. Um, he helped this um black woman um start to breathe, who we obviously revealed was sat next to her on the plane. Um, the young, one of the young lads, he might be like, uh, some, I think it was a year after the Lord of the Rings obviously appeared in this, was obviously played Pippin or Merlin. Merlin, Merlin, <laughs> Merid. Uh, great to see him part of the cast. I wasn't fond of him, but, you know, he's playing Charles in this and has a bit of a, uh, an okay introduction. Um, Kathleen, I can't remember her name. Uh, she is from Ant-Man, um, playing as the main co-star to the lad who's playing Jack. You know, amazing introduction for them, I think. It was all going so well, you know. Um, you know, people were helping each other. They um, they were going to go to the crash site. And then there was this weird noise from a distance. There was a random dog on the island as well. And it gives me, <clears throat> it gave me like alien, dinosaur, <clears throat> weird vibes. And what I don't understand is, you know, it's the first episode Going off the synopsis, they're going to go to tombs and the fact that other people have been here. <clears throat> so it feels like it's a very much Bermuda Triangle thing. They're all trapped within this thing. No connection or communication is going to come their way. And we're going to be stuck with these characters for a long period of time. There's a few characters I was really just happy with in this first episode. A few characters didn't really do much. And obviously some were just in the background. But um, there, was this all, <laughs> there was this really funny scene. Uh, the main girl was obviously getting these shoes as she needed some walking shoes to go through uh, the woods to go and find the airplane to get help. Um, this guy just stares dead at her and just opens his mouth and he's got an orange, trying to be comical, I think. And it was just such an awkward scene. I think Lost was a great introduction, episode one-wise. Episode two is also the pilot as well. But obviously, as we know, it was successful in getting six seasons. And not successful, I don't know, in the rights of how it ended. There's, like I think, 100 episodes. I don't know how you could tell 100 episodes on a deserted island. Surely by, you know, like six hours, six, like, well, like multiple hours, they would have worked away off this island, built something destroyed the entire civilization on the island, you know, chopping all the trees down. You, you get what I'm saying. There's, I'm intrigued to see why it takes so long to get six seasons. Maybe they had a map. Maybe they had a reason for prolonging certain things. I'm intrigued to see what the mysterious creature is that almost killed Charles, killed the pilot, and is about to wreak havoc on the island. Um, it's... Um, Definitely something unique and fresh in my mind for coming to TV shows. I'm invested and I'm hoping to at least watch these every other day at, a, at, a, at the most. I have obviously plans to watch Vikings and Jessica Jones finally. You know, we started, we returned to Clone Wars the other day. Um, and again, you know, The Witch Show, we have three episodes left, Euphoria, multiple other shows. But if you enjoyed Lost, leave a like, get this view. I'll get them out as quick as possible. You know, like 40, 50 minute episodes. So, you know, it's a bit to dedicate to, but I have, I'm determined to get through this and just keep smashing through TV shows I have not seen and I've missed over the years. 
Uh, for example, one is Glee. I managed to watch all six seasons of that. I intend to bring that to the channel in live reactions. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like. And of course, let me know down below what you thought of the introduction to Lost. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you go check it out because it was a good start. It was a good introduction. I'm intrigued to see more. So without that, well, any without further ado, that is the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed the review. See you in the next one and check out all the other stuff on the channel. Take care. Goodbye.